The keynote yesterday was about celebrating the 10 years of Elixir. And what I wanted to do was to look at the future of Elixir, right? But when we say like the future of Elixir, and especially now that we're celebrating the 10 years of Elixir, it can be very tempting to think like, oh, what Elixir is going to look like in 10 years. And I think if we are trying to, uh, well, if I was trying to guess that, I would probably get it very wrong because I would not have guessed 10 years ago that would be here today, right? Like having a community with events happening all around the world and Elixir is being used like for web development, which maybe I could expect, but for all the things that people are using Elixir today, like building embedded systems, data processing pipelines, distributed systems, and even now with the more recent machine learning efforts, I would not have guessed any of that. We as a company have been using Elixir for more than five years on production. And uh, we are big fans of the technology. It fits us well. The developer experience and tooling is awesome. And uh, that's why we're big believers and, and uh, would like to continue supporting the community and then make everything possible to make it bigger and, uh, and brighter. The community is very important for us, uh, the Elixir community. We got a lot from the Elixir community and we are leveraging all the tools that it built. So we just uh, feel that it's important to be here and, and support it. We deploy as uh, into a microservice architecture, so we have a lot of services running in Elixir. We come from a Ruby on Rails background, so some of, uh, some of our core is uh, still Ruby on Rails, but we are refactoring that into uh, Elixir microservices. We definitely choose Elixir as a primary main uh, language for our backend platform to build our API. And Elixir has been a really successful case for us. Like even hiring people that with no Elixir, previous Elixir experience, and also bringing excellent engineers that use Elixir today. And so we are very proud and happy to be part of this ecosystem and help it grow. I am the principal developer of a software system called Sonic Pi, which is a tool that use, uses code to generate music. And we use it to teach computer science in schools, but also professional musicians are using it to perform at large festivals around the world. Uh, and so I, after I gave a talk about how it works and what it is and, and why I created it and how people can get involved, I then gave a demonstration of it, which is a performance. So I, I, I uh, coded all the music for the party, got other people on stage and they were doing a bit of coding as well. And it's, it's a lot of fun to, to demonstrate how code is not just a tool for business, but also a really creative tool in its own right. And, and to show that code is a, is a powerful tool for human expression. This conference is fab, and that uh, there's a really great mix of super smart people, really open-minded attitudes. Like often, programming language conferences can be a very sort of guarded environment where they're, they're sort of tribal. And here, it feels it's a lot more open-minded, which I've, I've really enjoyed. I really feel very much at home here.